Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Gray Eagle in Florida again. Ah, more orange juice this week. Thankfully, I'm able to afford it. I don't know how much longer I will be able to, though. Uh, prophecy report for uh, July 5th, 2011. Uh, well, hello, folks. I trust you uh, had a, a your weekend was spectacular. Mine was certainly excellent. And uh, we have uh, some more uh, prophecies uh, of end times fulfilled this past week. In fact, we've got a very, very large one, one of the largest or one of the greatest signs, according to Luke 21:25, in the uh, in the moon this past week. Uh, I've been doing this about eight years, and this is probably the most spectacular sign I've seen. Uh, I started out doing this as uh, on my uh, textual website. I uh, eventually. Uh, did a uh, did it by subscription, and uh, that I ended that, and uh, here uh, at uh, the beginning of uh, rather at the end of last year, I started doing it here on YouTube. Uh, so I've been doing it, I think, about eight years now. Uh, this article is right here on YouTube, and. Uh, if you want to see it, it's, uh, in fact, I highly recommend it to all. It's uh, an L.A. Marzulli interviewing various people. And uh, in it, he describes how the uh, moon is acting weird. And if you want to uh, see this uh, video, it's called Watchers 2 Coast to Coast Preview. Again, it's L.A. Marzulli interviewing several people. And we also have two related articles uh, on this uh, particular prophecy this week, and it is uh, keywords uh, for one uh, is asteroid buses buzzes, that's B U Z Z E S, Earth close shave. Now people are worried about uh, Elenin, Planet X, and. Uh, they got several other now. I think it's all personally. I think it's all the same thing, and uh, it's biblically wormwood, in my opinion. Uh, but there's a lot of other uh, uh, things out there that are coming close to Earth. You go to the, uh, I think it's RSOE uh, website, and you can find them. Scroll down to the bottom of that page, and uh, you'll find all the. Uh, uh, Earth approaching objects. Uh, now the second article is, uh, if you want to see that, it's pictures of this asteroid. It's uh, snapshots, asteroid, buzzed Earth. All right, uh, Jeremiah 50:37 again. Collapse of the economy. The uh, U.S. dollar continues its historic downhill slide. To see this article, its keywords: dollar losing, global reserve. It also reminds me of Ezekiel 7:19. Now the next, in fact, this next article is the very next uh, Jeremiah verse. It's first uh, chapter 50, verse 38. Uh, unprecedented drought continues in Texas, while at the same time wildfires continue in Arizona and New Mexico. At last update, the fires reached within about 50 feet of the Los Alamos lab. Now, uh, concurrently happening in uh, Nebraska, the Missouri River is encroaching upon Fort Calhoun NPP. Uh, never before in the history of America has so many threats of this country came all at the same time. Which also reminds me that Congress, instead of concerning themselves with these matters, is far more concerned about how Christians might damage the country. <laughs> you know, uh, no more uh, comment needed on that. And I'm also reminded of Matthew uh, 24, 33. Now to uh, read these, uh, this article, use keywords historic, drop, uh, 
causes billion loss. Now the X, next one is also Jeremiah, but it's 5114. And, uh, and here we find the government is dredging up the uh, Amnesty Act that American people have overwhelmingly defeated a few years back. That's when uh, Bush the less attempted to push through uh, this uh, amnesty. If you remember that one, uh, uh, so many people called uh, the Washington uh, Congress uh, phone lines that the phone lines just literally melted down and they just exploded their phone system. And uh, so the uh, Congress uh, at that time uh, deferring to the wishes of the American people uh, did not pass that uh, uh, act. But now to see it, that, uh, what, what we have happening, uh, the White House is uh, attempting to uh, bring this thing back. And the uh, key words are White House revives push dream act. Uh, now we'll skip up to the New Testament, Matthew 10:22. And, of course, this is uh, Christian persecution uh, that uh, will happen in the end days, according to the Lord himself. Uh, Egyptian radical Muslims are continuing to persecute Christians. We have reported on this several times in recent prophecy reports. But uh, to this, uh, keywords to this current article are... Muslims burn, Christian threaten. Now, it seems to me that uh, either only Egypt is doing this or that the, the, the persecution of Christians is the only ones that the media is reporting. I haven't seen anywhere else where uh, this is coming to pass, but it certainly is all over Egypt. Now, we know that the uh, Muslim Brotherhood is... Uh, uh, the the uh, starting t talks with the uh, administration here in the United States, and uh, they're the ones going to take over uh, uh, Egypt apparently, and uh, they're probably going to be a recognized government when they actually do that. Now, uh, Revelation uh, eight eleven, the Wormwood prophecy uh, is continuing its uh, earliest fulfillments. And uh, apparently Fukushima residents uh, have been, uh, are being tested, and uh, apparently their uh, urine is radioactive. Uh, if you want to read the article, keywords, Fukushima residents, urine radioactive. Uh, now let's say, uh, I hate to see this happen to any people, but we are in the end times, and... Uh, the people are just absolutely refusing to trust Jesus, to uh, obey the word of the Lord, and uh, so this is this is what we get. There's consequences, in other words, for uh, not uh, trusting Jesus and obeying the, the Bible. Now, all these articles fulfill end times prophecies that the Lord told us, prove that the promise of His coming is indeed near, because Jesus said in Luke 21:28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption is near. And uh, this is where I would usually put a, a Bible verse of the week, but instead I'm going to quote Chuck Missler. And uh, I think you'll know why here when I give you the quote. Uh, Chuck Missler quote, uh, Militant patriotism is idol worship. So there you go. That's that's the quote from Chuck Missler. And remember to trust Jesus today because the time is short. Now these articles prove that Jesus is coming back. This is not doom and gloom uh, uh, hogwash. This is the, uh, the the great hope that Paul spoke of uh, in, uh, in his writings that Jesus would come back and uh, take us out of here. Now remember to trust him today because the time is so short. You may not be able to trust him tomorrow with all these uh, 
radio, uh, radio uh, active uh, sites uh, in jeopardy. Los Alamos, uh, Fort, uh, what is it, Fort whatever it is up there in Nebraska, and uh, another one not too far away from there. I think it's called Cooper, and uh, the uh, California quake has said they were uh, overdue for a uh, uh, a mega quake in, uh, on the uh, west coast, and the, the uh, New Madrid is threatening. And it seems like uh, survivalists are uh, telling us to get prepared. Personally, I, I don't buy into that so much uh, for the simple reason that I've seen what happened in uh, uh, Joplin. I've seen what happened in uh, uh, Alabama and uh, Tuscaloosa, being a former resident of Alabama in 1974. I actually survived the 74 superstorms. And uh, I've seen that damage that happened there recently. And if you'd have had your, uh, unless you've got a large underground bunker where you can store your uh, uh, goods, uh, you know, it's all going to get blown away in the wind or damaged or, or destroyed in the flood or whatever. I, I, <laughs> and you do what you want. If you want to uh, uh, store up food and uh, gold and, and, and all that, you go ahead personally. I'm not going to do it. But I believe that people should get prepared by having their souls surrendered to Jesus and trust the Lord. That's, to me, preparation. And that's the best preparation. Trust Him today by calling on His name. More info in the description box. Till next week, keep on trucking for the Lord. The eagle is out, but I'll be back next week. Good Lord be willing, and the creek don't rise.